in this video i'll be talking about the uh, univariate time series models um, the word univariate means uh, that there is only one variable in the model so far we have been studying about uh, multivariate models uh, multivariate means more than one variable in the model so uh, uh, you must be wondering how can we uh, build a model with just one variable well that is the topic of this uh, discussion or this particular session uh, I'll be talking about how can we predict or how can we uh, uh, build a model uh, using just one variable so univariate is just one variable and then what we do is that we predict the variable based on its past observation so we don't use any other variables uh, explanatory variables or independent variables as such like the way uh, you know we do in uh, regression models we rather use only the past observation of the same variable to predict uh, the variable um, <coughs> predicting a particular variable is also known as forecasting so forecasting is nothing but predicting the values of a variable uh, for future um, you know the uh, examples for forecasting are loss forecasting a bank would want to know what is going to be my loss in the next quarter and two cut quarters from now um, a marketing company or a uh, you know um, a merchandise company would want to know what is going to be my uh, sales uh, in the next month in a couple of months from now so that's where we use the forecasting we have so far been studying about the structural model in this channel you might have gone through regression model logistic regression uh, then robust regression all these models are structural in nature and multivariate in nature uh, you know we have one dependent variable and so many independent variable in place and then we predict the dependent variable based on the uh, independent variables okay so uh, for structural models or, or multivariate models uh, how is this how is the uh, you know mathematical form so this is the mathematical form you can see y is our independent variable and there are so many independent variables x1 x2 x3 and so on and we predict y based on the movements in the independent variable but that is not the case in the case of univariate time series model uh, we try to predict a variable say y and we want to predict it for future future time t uh, so instead of using any other variable for a prediction purpose we use the same variable up to the um, the previous period or the lag of that same variable what is a lag lag is nothing but one less than the time period and uh, you just keep on decreasing the time period and you will get different lags so y t minus 1 is the first lag y t minus 2 is the second lag and you keep on doing that using this past values of the same variable we will predict the uh, future value for y so that's about univariate time series uh, uh, model um, some more feature of univariate time series models uh, univariate time series models are useful when structural models are inappropriate say for example we want to predict uh, a variable yt okay uh, and maybe it's maybe the case that the variables uh, wh which are thought to be uh, you know driving the movement in the in the uh, yt are not observable that's one thing and measured at lower frequency so these are two points either it's not observable or measured at lower frequency why it's not observable some of the variable we cannot simply observe uh, or it's not available to us okay so the explanatory variables or the independent variables are not 
available to us for some reason maybe regulatory reasons maybe you know the system problem or something or the other we do not have the independent variable in place can we still do some forecasting yes we can do it if we know uh, the values of yt for uh, a considerable period of time we can use the past values to predict the future that is one case the second thing is measured at lower frequency so you know one of the criteria for uh, you know uh, using variables in the model is that the variables should be uh, both independent and you know dependent variables should be measured at equal frequency but it doesn't happen and let me give you an example say yt is a daily stock return series so uh, it's a return series stock return uh, and then uh, i'll take another uh, variable which is uh, which is my independent variable okay let's say it's a structural model assume for the moment and it the variable is inflation okay so uh, the uh, stock return is measured uh, on a daily basis okay whereas inflation is not measured uh, in daily basis it's measured in monthly basis okay so you cannot do a regression with the stock return with the inflation because they are measured at two uh, different way uh, you know one is measured in daily basis and the other one is measured uh, in monthly basis so uh, these are the scenarios where the multivariate models or the regression models or the structured model whatever you call it are not uh, appropriate hence we go in for the univariate time series models another problem with the structural models uh, is that they do not fit well to the out of sample data okay out of sample data uh, sorry are not out of sample data it's wrong out of time data sorry out of so that is a typo here out of time data so what is out of time data well uh, say for example in your training data set the data set using which you are building your model is having data up to 2010 to the year 2010 we do validation of the model using the data uh, you know after 2010 we will use the data for 2011 and the year 2012 and 13 to do the validation of the model the structural models do not you know fit well usually to the out of time data so out of time data is a data which is beyond the time taken for the training data set we have taken till 2010 but we are validating with 2011 12 and 13 so these time period 11 12 and 13 are known as out of time which is beyond the uh, you know the time period taken for the sample study uh, and that's where the uh, time series models perform very well just to tell you uh, how the models are built of course we'll see in detail in the uh, uh, you know in, in the subsequent videos um, say this is an example we have data say this is a sales data okay we have data for Jan for February for March okay and remember time series data there should be a continuity and the interval should be same uh, the interval is just one month here okay so Jan Feb, and March so between every two between every two points we have just uh, you know one month duration so uh, it is upward trending and then using the univariate time series model we try to extend this or we try to you know extrapolate this curve to the future similarly in this curve also you can see uh, we are doing the same thing we are extrapolating this trend to the future okay there is no explanatory variables involved it's just an extrapolation of the past value to the future so that's about univariate time series model we will see the details or the theoretical part of how we actually do the extrapolation or the forecasting uh, you know we'll see the theory in the subsequent videos so see